Jeff Ferris on Hot Homestead. Today's video we're going to talk about this Rolls Surrett battery, this Deep Cycle Series 4000. Guys, a bottle of Rolls Royce. Nah. Alright, so this Rolls Surrett battery, it's a S605, it's a 6 volt, it's a 4000 series for obviously renewable energy. Key factor that most batteries are rated at is just 20 amps. And that, I don't know how well it's going to come out, but that is 468 amps. It's 125 pounds. This date here is the date it was completed, manufactured, inspected. I got to double check on that date, but it's either May the 8th of 2015 or August 5th, 2015. Either way, that's only a three month period. I know right around. May to August of 2015 is when it was made. So it's only a few months old because today is January or today is December 2015. So, but basically this video is just to cover the battery. Um, I got eight of them. I'm going to wire them up in a 24 volt setup. And so with the eight, I'm going to have that 468 times two. So I'll have 900 and what, almost 20 amps. Right now, 900 and almost 40 amps, 930 plus amps. These batteries are designed to be close together. They are actually made so that when they are next to each other, there is an automatic gap between the two. So when you bump them together, as you see like I did right here, there's an automatic gap right in here. So they're designed to be put together. So it's just up to you to make sure that the temperature around the batteries in the battery box stays at optimal level. I'm in an area where the hottest it's ever going to get in my area would be 90 degrees. Coldest, however, might be zero. The key is to keep them warm. So in this box that I have, I have insulated it um, one inch foam. Then I took this reflect bubble wrap um, stuff and I put it on here. And then I took that um, reflective tape, put that on there as well. Here is the tape itself. And I don't know if you can see that right there, but it says Reflectic. R-E-F-L-E-C-T-I-X. And that's the same brand as what this material here is. And I just put that up against it. I used the tape to kind of hold it in place. Down here in the bottom, I taped this down here, but I did not tape this. The reason why I didn't tape my plywood there that it sits on, I didn't think I had enough tape to do the whole sheet of plywood, and I didn't want to buy a few more and do that. And the plywood I'm using is my walls are just half inch, just some half inch plywood. And then I used, on this side here, I've used a, uh, a 2x4, and you're going to see this in a later part of the video, but... The reason why I did that and right now the front end is open is because the front end is going to be a door basically. Here's what I use for the insulation. Just some rigid uh, one inch foam insulation. This here is the kind of bubble wrap because it's, I don't know how well you can see but it's a bubble wrap and you got foil on each side so two feet. And it's a roll of a whole bunch. That's what I used on the inner wall there. And then as you can tell on the reflective uh, tape, I just taped that all the way around. I still need to get a, another sheet of plywood to cut to fit right here. And this would be my door. This is, I still need to trim this just a little. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a door that I can swing out. So I'll put hinges on the side here. And that way if I need to get to the batteries, it helps me in getting to them. Okay. So like I said, I still need to complete that. My top just simply lifts up. So you just got to tape this up a little bit better. I just use some white Gorilla Tape. And uh, another piece on there. So I just got to finish that. Alright, so now it's time to do the wiring of our cables on the battery. Now that we got the batteries in their box, this wire that we're using. Alright, so where's the gauging? There's the gauging right there. 4-aught. 
when it has 4-0 that's called a 4 odd, from what I understand this is also some people call it welding wire now I don't have these apart here so you can see but inside this is like a million strands of wire and he put these together for me for the proper size on the setup that I'm going to do he did one in or positive red and the other in black negative so it makes it a little bit easier now on this wiring we're going to the batteries came with these bolts these are about an inch and a half and came with actually came with um, a washer there, a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. There's two per obviously, one for positive and negative. Now one thing that I want to point out as I'm putting this stuff together, when I go to put these in, I really need to bend this around, like say. And I want that, I want both of these ends to kind of be facing the same way. If you notice the way that this angle is here and this is here, I want them to face the same way. And here's why. When I go to the battery, and I'm hooking these up. Now the way the, bat the bolts go doesn't matter. So, so however way the bolts fit for you is the way you want to do it. I've got mine set on the outside of the post here. The bolts coming through obviously and then you got your washer your lock washer and your nut so that when it mixes with this one it's exactly the same way as that one and my box is the perfect height so they can stand up like that you want them to be as short as possible because what you want to do is you want to reduce any resistance that you can so the shorter the wire the less resistance these I think were measured from tip to tip at 12 inches. So let me continue wiring. Now I got cables going everywhere. Now here's what I've done. This is like I said 24 volts. So what we have I've got 24 volts back here and I got 24 volts right here. So what I've got is and I'll get you a close up here in a second but I got a positive and then a negative then I have positive and negative so I just altered the batteries so that it makes these connections here a little easier the shorter these connectors the better these are 4 rot, as I showed earlier in the video and so I connect these up so that I got negative to positive the black with the red same thing same thing and then I did the same thing with the front batch now that each one is set up in the series now I do them in parallel because what did you learn on one of my other videos series is SIV, right? Series Increase Voltage, SIV. Parallel, PIAD. Parallel Increase Amps. So now I want positive to positive and then negative to negative. Now when I go to hook up my charge controller and my inverter, I'm going to hook the positive sides up to this one, the negative sides up to that one. Now here's why. A battery can only have one positive and one negative. If I were to hook one up to here and then the other one up to that one or something, it would discharge them improperly or charge them improperly. This way keep treats them as one big battery. So on this on this 24 volt here, I have I'm using that positive, and on this 24 volts, I'm using that positive. So let me backtrack. On this bank of batteries, that's my open positive. That's my open negative. On this one, that's my open positive. That's my open negative. When I bring the two together in parallel, I'm going to combine these two. So if I'm using this one, I have to use the opposite over there. I could, if I wanted, use this one, but if I do, I have to use that one over there. So hopefully you can kind of tell a little bit on what it is. It's opposites on the battery. So if you're using positive on bank one, you gotta use negative on bank two. And it's gotta be the opposite negative from where your positive is connected. And opposite of positive where your negative is connected. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Let's little get, get a little closer. You can see the positive and negative piece of it. And then I'll explain all the other stuff. Alright, so there's your positive. And the crossover is a negative. 
You got a negative there, it connects up with that positive. That's why they're red and black on these. The guy that I bought these from did a great job of marking them for me. Because as you can see, positive red, positive red. And same thing, black to black, negatives. So they did a great job of making these. The place I bought these batteries from, they also made those cables for me. I think they're 12 inches on the short ones, and the two long ones I think were 18 inches. Now, the other part of it is connecting the charger and the um, inverter. So I'll show those in the actual connections in a later video. These wires here, these wires here are coming from my charger, my charge controller. I'm going to have the positive connected here, and the negative is going over here on the opposite. Over here, I have a lot more wires coming in. I have two other big ones. These two other four odd ones. This one is going to go to my positive, and this one's going to go to my negative. And then the other side that's coming out the wall here, that's going to go to my inverter. This one here is going to connect the same way. Because I only have one positive and one negative. Remember, this is one big battery. So we'll connect there. And then I got that going over here to a couple of bus bars. And those bus bars, what I'm going to do here with those bus bars is this is 24 volts going in. So these cables here are 24 volts going in. They're going to split off from here. I've got a 24 to 12 volt converter. So it's going to convert this 24 volts down to 12. And then I'm going to use that for lighting in the shed. I have multiple connections here. I have up to four additional. So I'm going to take another one and I'm going to send it outside and it's going to my trailer. And the reason why it's going to my RV, I want my RV to think this is its battery system. So I need to convert this back down to 12 volts because the trailer is a 12 volt trailer obviously. But I'll still take the 110 part of the trailer and I'm going to hook that up to the inverter. And like I said, there's going to be a series of videos. So this completes the battery and the wiring of it. And then I'll go and I'll do the charge controller. I'll do a separate one for the inverter. And then the panels. And then show it all wired together. This 24 volt line coming out. How that's being converted to 12 volts. Light the shed. And also give the RV some 12 volt power. And all kinds of videos, guys. You got to stay tuned. Jeff Arizona High Homestead. Don't forget to like. And you better subscribe because there's a lot of solar stuff coming. Comment and share. See you on the next video.